me again, do you mind, Scott? Don't answer if you don't want to, but what, what is your price range for einkorn kernels? So I am able to sell einkorn at market for $7 a pound, either as flour or whole berries. Do you, do you find that consumers are interested in einkorn? Uh, I have a lot of discussion. Uh, this year, there's been a big resurgence in home baking from just like a wider audience. So there has been a lot of interest this year. Uh, it helps that I ran out of my modern wheat. <laughs> so, you know, it just kind of drives that conversation a little further, a little faster in terms of what is einkorn, how is it good, um, how, is it, how is it best used. And once you tell people that you can it, to treat it like pastry flour because it's got a lower protein, a lower gluten content, then people start to get the idea, oh, I can make scones, crepes, you, well, you uh, can, you can, pie crusts, you things can, like that. You can, in fact, make bread, but it, it, it takes a little, you have to Right, you have you've to got go, to be more patient. You've got to do a little slower fragile, yeah. folding, gluten and building methods. So what do you, you know, you were saying that, that in this, this last uh, marketing uh, venture after the pandemic hit, that they're, they were interested because you had some of it. But um, another thing that, that folks are interested in einkorn and you can see it, it's nice marketing, is that golden cover, the color, the high glute, uh, lutein content. Yeah. Are they interested in this? So it's, it's yeah. extremely nutritious. Yeah, when you put the whole wheat flour from my hard red winter wheat mm. bagged right next to, in a clear plastic bag right next to the, the, the einkorn, mm -hmm. that einkorn just has this beautiful yellow color tone to it. Yeah. Yeah. Even in the flour, so not just on the on the grain right. husk itself or on the bran. It's the flour. The whole yeah. flour itself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's really beautiful. It's got some really nice flavor.